was helping my friend, Dr. George Snyder, on a study of ocean plants. But we needed money to keep the research going. That's why I was interested when I heard that a millionaire and his wife needed my services. It wasn't just that I enjoyed working with George. This research was a small but brilliant beginning of a vast project to turn ocean plants into food products. Look, I'm flying down to Puerto Blanco day after tomorrow with Mrs. Conway. I have my private plane. I'd like you to come along, Nelson. To Puerto Blanco? Why? Well, I understand that you're one of the best skin divers in the country. And I'd like you to teach my wife and myself all there is to know about it. Why? Well, I've heard that some of the biggest shark in the world run off Puerto Blanco. I want one, Nelson. I also want to get a giant squid. Well, is there any particular reason? Well, I've bagged everything else in the world worth killing, except what's down there. Well, can we talk business? Oh, it all depends. Uh... Yes, yes, it always does. Always on the same thing. Money. Well, killing things just for the sport of it doesn't appeal to me very much. Well, now, look, I understand that you and Snyder here need money to keep your research project going. How much? $5,000? Well, that's considerably more than the job is worth. However, it is a worthy cause. And tax deductible. That's right, Gloria. All right, $2,500 now, the balance when I get my first shark. A deal? Yeah, all right, it's a deal. I thought it would be. Two days later, we were on our way to the west coast of South America. We landed at Puerto Blanco, an ancient fishing village to which a landing strip and a modern resort hotel had recently been grafted. Senor Conway? Yes? I am Dr. Gomez. I have been awaiting your arrival most urgently. No, why? I have a patient in the village, a child, very sick. I must take her to the hospital. I must ask to borrow your aeroplane at once, senor. Oh, of course, I'll, uh, I'll speak to my father right away. Gracias, senor. Oh, Dr. Gomez, don't you have any kind of a hospital here in Puerto Blanco? No, senora. We have only the hotel and the fishing. And now, if you will excuse me, please. What's the matter, Mr. Conway? Well, nothing. I was just thinking if something went wrong underwater. It won't. Not if we all follow the necessary precautions. My husband never does. You better. The next day, I went down to examine the deep areas off the shore. The water was quite warm, even at a great depth. I saw several fairly big sharks. I figured they'd be good hunting for Conway. They didn't attack. Starting with diving masks and snorkels, I began to teach the Conways the fundamentals of diving. Conway didn't understand that a pair of fins were to save effort, not to set speed records. All right. Hey, right here. When I thought they were ready, I introduced them to the diving model. I tried to get across the idea that the equipment was delicate and technical, and that in diving there was only one way to do things, the safe way. That's fine. Right. right. So I try this. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Thank you. them theory as well as practice. I figured Conway would follow the rules better if he understood the reasons. To give a clear picture of what changes in pressure due to the lungs, I demonstrated with a balloon. First I filled it with air at the bottom. I'm up with it very 
recently. pressure has the same effect on your lungs as it does in this balloon. If you come up too fast, the air in your lungs expands, your lungs get bigger and bigger, and they finally burst. Just like this balloon did. How fast should you come up? Just keep under the bubbles of your diving lung, and you'll be all right. And if by any chance you come up without your diving lung... That's pretty obvious. You hold your breath. If you do that, you'll be sure to burst your lungs. Now, you've got to equalize the pressure inside and outside of your chest. And to do that, you've got to exhale as you go up. Say, uh, when do we stop going to school and start hunting? When I think you're ready to. When you think. We've done pretty well so far listening to Mike. Mike, huh? We've only been diving at a depth of 20 feet so far under controlled conditions. We're going to have to go down to 70 or 80 feet for those sharks and up again. You don't know how yet. Well, what I know is I'm due back in New York in 10 days. I want a shark before I leave. It's not that easy. 75 feet down is a different world. Well, if I don't get my shark, you don't get the rest of that $5,000. Elliot, that's not fair. Mike's done everything he possibly can. Shall we get started with those lessons? Mike, do you care if I skip the lesson today? I feel terribly tired. If you don't feel up to it, sure. Gloria, what's wrong with you? You never backed out on me before. I know. Oh, let's get on with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Diving can be dangerous if you're tired. You can catch up with us tomorrow. Jose, give her a hand, huh? Thanks, Mike. Well, you're taking over all round, aren't you? Hi. Hi. Where's Mr. Conway? Oh, he's in his room, working out with his Indian clubs. <laughs> he, uh... Well, I don't know, he... He's different than any man that I've ever met before. I don't know anybody like him. <laughs> you probably never will again, either. He's the original mixed-up millionaire. But underneath, he's really an intelligent, sensitive human being. I don't understand what he's trying to prove. He's a man. Brave, strong, capable. Of what? Well, he was graduated from the finest architectural college in the country. He studied in France with Le Corbusier. It was there that it happened. Well, what happened? His father was killed in an auto accident. Elliot inherited $112 million and the Conway Oil Corporation. Other rich men work? <laughs> he doesn't see any reason to. Not yet, anyway. So in the meantime, he makes for the muscle and uh, lives dangerously, huh? I guess. He can't be scolded into growing up. Found that out too late. Gloria. Gloria, I wanted to show you my new spear gun. It's one of the best you can buy in the hey, country. Don't point it like that. Huh? I haven't checked you out on it yet. Uh, would you put it down, please? Nelson, for a hired hand, you're getting a little bit out of line, don't you think? Elliot. Put it down, will you? I've been handling firearms since I was 10 years old. It doesn't look like it. The gun is cocked and ready to shoot. I also read the instructions to fire it. You have to release the safety. Conway, put it down! All right! <laughs> Gloria! Gloria, darling, are you all right? Honey... <laughs> look, it was an accident. Please, darling. Please. It's all right. You weren't hurt. Conway soon became a good shot with his spear gun. But it took him a long time to learn to keep it pointed away from other people, especially me. they were ready. I adjusted the underwater camera for a depth of 75 feet. See. See, Gloria, you don't have to, you know. I, I mean, if you're not feeling up to it, we can forget about the pictures. You want pictures of your kill, you'll get them. Well, I do, of course, but, well, it's not that important. You know it is. I've been there on all your other kills. I'll be there on this one. And if that super-duper camera works... It'll work, all right. Then by this time tomorrow, you'll have an imperishable account of your achievement. Look, do you think she feels up to it? Oh, it's up to her. 
How are you feeling now? I feel fine, but I'm terribly hungry. Good. Good. I'll, um, I'll order dinner. I, I thought we might try the chicken cacciatore. No, no, that's too spicy. No upset stomachs tomorrow. Not the depth that we're going. You shouldn't have said that. Now he'll order two portions just to prove how tough he is. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Well, he does seem to be trying. Maybe some of that uh, underneath stuff that you were talking to me about is beginning to show through. Suddenly, I just don't care anymore. I made a bad mistake when I married him. And a worse one later on. Ah, uh, it's probably just this place. After you get home. Home? Home's just a refueling station between safaris. So maybe, uh, maybe things will be different now, huh? Maybe after he kills a shark or two? I hope so, for his sake. Well, I hope so, too, for your sake. You're sweet, Mike. Well, you get your stuff on, huh? I went down myself again to find sharks for Conway. I chose the deep area of my first search. things considered. Well, we can call the whole thing off, you know. Really? Well, sure. We don't have to do it today or even this trip. We can come back. That's what I thought you meant. We're ready, Mike, if you are. Yeah. In a minute. Funny shark for us, Nelson? Enough to keep you busy. We'll get down as soon as I uh, get this bait ready. You're gonna use it for bait, huh? Yeah. I'm hoping that they'll go for them. If they do, you can go for them. You make it sound so simple. It isn't. We'll be 75 feet down. Our lungs will be under three times the pressure they are now. Now, do you know what to do in case anything goes wrong? And you have to come up without a diving lung? You come up very slowly. Don't panic. Don't try to hold your breath. Exhale. Yeah, I know. That's right. Now, a lot may happen down there very fast. When it does, you'll have to decide for yourself when to fire. Just be sure that we're out of the way. Oh, I'll be sure. I know what I'm after. Good hunting. swam down together, I prayed that the Conways would remember and follow my instructions. Facing sharks by yourself is tough enough, but having responsibility for other people on a shark hunt is really harrowing. I pointed to the sharks and we moved toward them with a the bait. I knew they probably wouldn't attack us right away. Men with diving lungs are something new to them. circles, but one big one rushed in and gulped our bait.
looking for a good chance to strike. Dr. Gomez arrived above us to ask for Conway's plane again. No, see the doctor. They're diving below. We didn't know that Gloria was hurt and that her regulator was damaged. saw Gloria lying on the bottom. We rushed back. The shark sensed the trouble and followed. It was then that Conway came through like a hero. He was very calm as he quickly gave Gloria the mouthpiece of his diving lung. see that the mood of the sharks was changing fast. I sent the Conways up. They shared the lung in the way. I stayed down as a rear guard to keep the sharks from going after them. I thought the big one who had taken our bait would go for me any second. Sure. Say, do you think that doctor's any good? Don't worry about her now. She's gonna be all right. Well, it's, it's a miracle she wasn't killed. All because I wanted some lousy pictures. And also because Dr. Gomez wanted to borrow that plane of yours again. Well, say, why don't they have a hospital here? What is it, money? It usually is. Well, it wouldn't take too much. And there's a wonderful natural site for it on that rise near the shore. You know, a small hospital, uh, uh, two stories maybe, 20 or 30 beds, something like that. Yeah, she said that you studied to be an architect. You'd be a great one, she said. Senor Nelson. Yes. I should think that you would know better than to permit a woman in her well, condition. Well, look, how is she? She's my wife. She is quite all right. I will speak with you later. Perhaps you did not know how dangerous it was for her to descend to such depths. But he should have known. About what? That you do not subject an expectant mother to... A what? You did not know? Well, well, this is the first I've heard of it. In six months. Congratulations, senor. Well, well, can I go see her now? No. It is better that she rest. And I would suggest that as soon as you return to the States, you have her in a hospital for observation. Yes, that, that's where she should be now, isn't it? There is no hospital nearer than 300 miles. Well, there will be, doctor. I can promise you that. Doctor, work will start before my child is born. I promise. Uh, wait a minute. Take it that long just to draw up the plans. Now, Mike, you don't know me when I go to work. Your wife's gonna like that. I did. Very much. Gracias, señor. Gracias. Hello there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is fun and adventure for young and old, but it can be dangerous. So know the sport well and don't take any chances. Be with you next week. 
another exciting seat. 